Actually, furniture bring your truck, your furniture in. I guess they done ran out of trucks. Where is your top? The YouTuber in the making. We got the YouTuber in the making, y'all. This is the people that they must have. Right, y'all. So they bring the couch. It's three o'clock. We still ain't got the other couch out yet. Dre basically said he was gonna wait till they come before he take the other couch out, which I knew they was gonna come because they already made the appointment to come. So I'm just gonna sit right here in the doorway because they usually say they weren't gonna bring it in the house, but I don't know, they might just bring it right here in the doorway. So that'll be fine. Then Dre has to do the rest. <laughs> Get a new couch. Get a new couch, bro. Get a new couch. Get a new couch. And it look like it ain't on the third floor. But they got a dolly, so it shouldn't be too mad. It's two of them. big as hell. I didn't know it was that big. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Look at that boy that jumped on Dean. Yeah. I feel sorry because he didn't have no water for the people. The way that I have the living room now, this may not work. Yeah. Is the sofa, is the bed part in there? Mm -hmm. Like, do you feel like... So you talk about see. bed? So you talk about the bed? Because it's supposed to be like a... Yeah, you can feel the rods. Yes, yeah, yeah. sofa bed. Oh. I wasn't even gonna get the sofa so bed the, because so the Dre side? works nights now, so Andre could be in bed. But I was like, no, uh, yeah. I was like, no, nah, because you know Willie may come in town. We have somewhere for him to sleep at and stuff like that. Ah. And besides, I'm tired of Andre in my bed. Stop jumping on the couch. So Dre and I about to go have a little date night tonight. We gotta go play some pool, so that means I ain't gotta put on no heels or nothing. So we'll find a comfortable dress, button up to go over it, something, some tennis shoes. But I gotta do something to this head. So I'm gonna wash it right quick. And look at that, look all that bill up. So where's my other shampoo? Cause I need to get that bill up out. But yeah, cause it's made it all up now. So I'm gonna wash it and probably do, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna see, can I pin it up? See how that look if I bring it up like that or something? I don't 
don't know. I don't know. This is why I don't wear my neck careful wearing my natural hair like this. A lot of you all actually ask me like what I do for my hair. I do never wash it. I use some eco styling gel, some type of leave in or something like that, condition or whatever, and pretty much go. Because honestly, um, you see how it is all dry all up right now. I could pretty much just wet this and reuse what's in my head, the products that's in my head, and it'll curl all the way back up like like it was a fresh wash. But it really do need a, a real good wash. I need to deep condition it, but it's not going to happen tonight since this is a last minute type thing. So, yeah, I'm trying to see how I'm going to style it. I don't know. I'm going to do a half up, half down. I'll probably do that because I did like the way that looked a couple of days ago. Look at all that be a little. Good. So, I think that's what I'm going to do and see can I slap on some makeup right quick. All right, y'all, so I'm finished. What I'm gonna be able to do, um, I just got this dress on with this shirt, my Hirachis. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm sure y'all ain't another day. Let me show y'all. Since I'm rushing, so I have this little bodycon little dress on here. Um, my blue jean little shirt just to throw on, just to jazz it up a little bit. And my Hirachis to match my dress. And I'm gonna carry this bag here. And that's pretty much what my face and stuff looking like. So yeah. Oh, oh, who was that? <laughs> um, so this is how my hair turned out. Uh, I tried to scratch it a little bit by doing a little blow drying to it and stuff, but that stuff worked wonders. Um that the curl stuff, the curls, whatever how you pronounce it, that works great great with all the products how i said use it with the leave-in condition then put that on it yes baby yes um but it you know my hair like i said before it draws a real tight so i did have to use the blow dryer try to stretch it like this because it was up to here so yeah i'm trying to fluff it out so i could have blow dry a little bit more but i'm rushing and this is pretty much my makeup don't ask me what lip this is i tried to do brown with something else it just didn't turn out and this is what it turned out to because I started taking it off some. So yeah. But I've been learning how to shoot some pool. <laughs> Alright y'all, we will. And learn how to beat Dre ass in some pool. Troll sure is. I gotta go through them. For what? Yeah, I have to go through them. You like to put up shit that have to just look real horrible. Let's do this, Dre. You who go who y'all think gonna win? Dre or me? 
Oh, I know oh. motherfuckers like you. I'm about to beat your ass. It's going you know, down. Shit like you. Whatever. Oh, shit on niggas. <laughs> Don't be shitting on yourself. But you should have did. He thinks he's gonna win, but I'm gonna win. Okay. Drake cheating, y'all. He's cheating. Look, 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 look. Why he got hit it so hard? He swayed did something. You just got lucky cause with so many on right now. <laughs> Don't you get to show it off. She cheated. She hit the ball and then she just went again. She cheated. I got that. Drake called himself setting all the balls by the hole for me. Cause he done put the eight ball in, he done lost. <laughs> he done. <laughs>
Yo, like what, 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 what is this? Like, what are we doing? This is what happens when you beat a motherfucker ass. Now they want to go gold. And I'm beating that ass in gold too. So. All right, y'all, so we leaving. I beat Dre. I beat Dre. I beat Dre. I'll beat you. I don't care what you say. It's up and it's stop. I beat Dre. We on to the next spot, y'all. So Dre can get another ass whooping. Y'all, so we at Apple. We just think of Waffle House. We're at the Waffle House now. We try to go to two crab places, but everything is closing now. It's 11 28, so that was a bus. But we're at the Waffle House. It's food, it's alcohol. Because y'all know I kick Dre, but don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. So he's hating. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, right. Show y'all my food. Did y'all put ketchup on your eggs? Drake's song look good. Yeah, look like cheesy. You got a lot of cheese in here. It was, what you got in here? Oh, I wonder. But it's the only time I put ketchup on my eggs and I'm at a restaurant. I don't do it at home. It's good like that. Try it. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. Last night, we had a good time. We had a great time. After we left the pool hall or whatever, because I know I won. Yep, I won. <laughs> we went and tried to go bowling, but we went to King Bowling, I think it called it, off the of International, up here in Orlando. Mm -mm. And baby, it was a two hour wait. So after we left there, we tried to go to a Crab Shack. Both of the crab shacks was pretty much closing at the time we tried to go. Uh, one was closing at 12, but they wasn't stepping any more tables. It was like 11 o'clock when we got there, so they weren't stepping no more. So after that, that's when you guys seen that we went to the Waffle House. It was pretty good, though. The waffles was pretty good. I haven't ate there in a minute. But now it's the next day. I decided to go ahead. Now I'm about to organize Jasmine closet song some more because Andre comes in here and he take all his toys out and he, he take over the closet so yesterday or the day before yesterday I went to the storage unit <clears throat> excuse me went to the storage unit and got um my storage being out of a cubicle that I got from Ikea a while back that I had in Andre room that his TV was sitting on. So I'm going to use that to put his toys and stuff in, try to organize a little better because right now it's just stacked up on top of each other in, which I'll show you guys how this calls are looking. But it's not too bad. We're able to get in and out. But when he take his toys out, like I said, it's just take over. And then I got up also this morning and made some homemade dirty rice. So I did cook that. So now I'm about to jump into this closet. I'm going to show y'all exactly how this closet looks. Now, I'm not going to do this on camera because this in fact it's going to take me longer. Because I know when I get into my organized stage, it takes me longer to do it. So, but yeah. um, The couch is still standing up right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The couch is still standing up. We ain't got rid of the old couch yet. So, that's pretty much just to hold up. Dre and I still recuperating. He's sleeping. But I'm going to have to wake his ass up because Dre will sleep all motherfucking day if I don't wake him up. Oh, I don't. Mm -mm. 
get up negro get the fuck up i need you to get up <laughs> but yeah let me go ahead and start on this closet and um i'll talk to you guys a little bit later okay all right the closet so as you see on this side here it's got jamming clothes and andre clothes this mirror is actually gonna come out of there and put her own mirror that she had one of her mirrors gonna go in there um these storage bin, are not storage bin, dressers here is for Andre. That's where we keep his clothes and stuff in. And then you see over here, all the other stuff. All this here. I put it on this side so therefore when you open the closet, you don't see that first. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So up here to the top is Andre toys and stuff in these bins here. You see I got extra pillars and stuff up there. Here is my DIY stuff. So yeah, and then more Andre toys and stuff. So I'm gonna go through all this stuff here so I can organize it a little bit better and use this cute um, thing I told you guys about. So, which is laid down. So I'm gonna put those cubes bins on top of it. So therefore I can have that stuff on top of it and Andre toys and stuff be in the bottom and stuff like that. That stuff that's pretty much gonna stay up besides those bins, just gonna open up and pillars and stuff gonna stay up there. I might put those in storage too though. Um, just so it don't be in the house. It could give me more room to put stuff that I want in the house or whatever the case may be. So I don't know. We're gonna see how this is gonna turn out. Y'all, why is Ray carrying the damn chair on his head? <laughs> yeah, I can't deal with Dre. I, I can't deal with Dre. All right, y'all, so I'm done with Jasmine Closet. I even organized their clothes and stuff. Went through, decluttered some stuff. Ooh, child. All clean. I put that mirror up in here. And this is how this side looking. The main side that I wanted to do. So now we all organize. All that. So this is the stuff that I definitely got to go through. It's going to take me more time to do, but I'm going to do it because they have to get done. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I did for today. I'm about to go finish up some more stuff, though. But this is how I look it. Ooh, child. Breath of fresh air. This here, her door is going up on her bed because it does not stay on the thing there. Oh, I hate these doors when they're in apartments. I really do. So, but, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this mess I got. I'm away. I'm away. Why? 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 I'm a one to one. I can never be you. Low me tools. No, I can't be fooled. Low me tools. No, I hate these dudes. I'm a one to one. I can never be you. Anything you could do, I can do better. I can do better than you. Single leg, oh, he rap, rap. You thought it was a drought, that's cap, cap. I get the front and I get the back, back. Little Uzi, the facts, like that's a rat, rat. Bought some new boots just to wear them out. Bought a new beam, I run it to the ground. I used to say nothing, I bet they hear me now. Can't know my business, no need to hear me out. Talking too much, say less. If it's less than a check, say less. If you can say a best, say less. I'm taking all best, say less. Talking too much, say less. If it's less than a check, say less. If you can say a best, say less. I'm taking all best, say less. I'm a one to one, I can never be you. Low me tools, no, I can't be fooled. Low me tools, no, I hate these dudes. All right, y'all, so it's 10 o'clock at night. We actually doing this. This is the sofa. Like, I couldn't wait. It's kind of stiff. It's stiff than what I've actually felt at the store, but I think it because it has the the bed in there. But it's just a little too stiff, honey. Like stiff, stiff, like firm. <laughs> it's firm, so I guess it'll wear down, you know, once we sit down on it and you know, stuff like that. But this is the chair, y'all. Let's see. I gotta put the feet on there, but I'm gonna have Dre do that tomorrow. 
I just want to go ahead and take it out tonight. Wait, does that mean I don't sleep on? No. Because no. oh. Dre at work right now, so I know y'all are like, well, why do we have Dre to do that? Dre at work. Don't. So, yeah. Cards, and I've been doing the closet and stuff like that, which is the reason why I didn't go ahead and do this. But it's not bad. It's another piece that I'm um gonna get to make it out of the chase, like a a, a sectional. Cause you know the one that I did want, it was actually it comes out from the end of the chair all the way out to here. And that was just gonna be too big, like too big. But this is her right now. So I gotta see, is this gonna pretty much fit like this? Cause I don't have the legs and nothing. It's not all the way over to the end either. Like the other couch was though, but yeah. I like it, it give a modern feel. I didn't want too much curvy to it. I like that the flat arms and everything on it. So not bad. Not bad. It wasn't the material that I wanted, but by I need a sofa bed, I had to go this right here because I wanted this velvet sofa that I did see. That's what I really, 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 really want. And I think I showed you guys that the first time I went to Ashley Furniture. And this was the other one that I showed you guys. So out of the whole Ashley Furniture, it was just two pieces that I really did like out of that. But I really wanted a great velvet one. But I don't have a sofa bed, so I had to pretty much compromise and go with this one and be like, okay put my feelings to the side and think of this little one here so yeah that's pretty much made me went on ahead and make the decision just go ahead and purchase this one here so i'm not um mad about my decision i'm not mad about it but i like it so i guess we'll soften it up when we sit on it more and more i don't know it's a little bit um like the other one definitely when it comes to the back the pillars and stuff the cushion um it is it it reminds me of that but uh the way it is shaped and stuff not the curvy arms and stuff the more of the little modern contemporary type vibe look so yeah now the other one that i wanted was really a modern style couch like it was today's vibe but oh well Facebook uh, crowd was filled me up, so it is what it is. So, talk to you guys tomorrow. Deuces. Hey, y'all. So, it's the next day, obviously. We got some daylight. I'm just getting out of work. Thing one and two, just getting out of school. So, Jamie and I about to get ready to see how far we can let this chair out. Because I think um, when I was playing to you guys Yay! last night, the way that I have it set up now... Pretty much, and what we either way it go though. If I put the couch on the wall or leave it here where I have it now, I will have to move the coffee table and where it go. So what Jam and I are about to do is do that. Move the coffee table to see how far out does the bed come out, and see how this go. But what we did notice about it, the back of it is real soft. It's real soft. It's actually wider. On the seat part, then what it then the other chair that we had is a little deeper. I actually think I like it without the um the little feet up under the bottom of it because it does sit low. It does give me that modern feel. Um, but the cushion part is what's the hard part about it. Firm. The back is not the back. You really sink into the chair like you deep into the chair. So, but other than that, so far so good. But we're gonna see how far this um bed come out. Because I have to figure this out. Because who the hell going to be want to keep moving this table back and forth is the problem. Jam. Holding. Pull it, Jamie. Pull it. I said, 
yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely the. Um, I ice gone. Oh, that's hot. The coffee table definitely will have to be moved out. So, and who's going to be want to move the coffee table out of the way, fully decorated, taking everything off every day or every other day? How are we going to go? You probably most likely gonna have to put the legs on there. Watch out, baby. Yeah, because of some fat, I think the legs is what's gonna help rise it up. Yeah, I don't know what y'all think. Do y'all see? Yeah, see, it ain't that much room between the TV and the bed. That means every day sliding the damn. Look at that boy. He was going under the most dangerous stuff. So that means every day, pretty much, or whenever he lays on it or whatever, we don't feel like, or feel like taking the bed out or have company. We have to wait, Jamie. Wait, Jamie. Wait, Jamie. My table's touching it. I um, know. We'll have to move the decor off the table and. All the other stuff too. Who's who the hell want to do that? I don't even want to decorate the table every day, so I it's not gonna work out. The way that I have it, I'm gonna have to put it back on the wall. I like it this way, but I'm not with moving the decor every damn day. Pick it up, Jay, because it's kind of loose. We're basically trying to see how much room it is in between. I guess to see how far we could just keep, just pull the table back or push the table back hey, with the decor on it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I don't think, yeah, I'm just scared, afraid of that. Somebody would want to do something they ain't got no business doing. But then again, we got inches back here too, because when we flipped it up, that part there, yeah. because I had it pulled, pushed back all the way to the end of the rug. <laughs> this one we try have. I would not be moving this much. So, it wasn't that bad. I could leave it like this, but we got to put the legs on it because that's why it's it's not um flat like it should. It's up in the air because the legs gonna help rise it up. Whew, yeah. The ghetto. Uh, well, that's not bad. I guess I'll leave it whoa. like this until I make up my mind. I want to change it again because I actually want to get rid of that piece there. I want to get rid of that piece so bad. You here in Orlando, give me $50. Come get it. You got to come get it and give me $50 for it. Because long as here is going to be still be here and, like I said, have a love hate. Girl, I'm going to throw this thing inside the road. Well, them two is a toxic relationship. Ain't nobody asked you to explain nothing between us. This is our relationship. <laughs> our relationship. <laughs> First of all, get out the mirror. It, it's not about you. Just say because, like, mm, we can see it. It's like, y'all got your business out there. So. Pretty toxic to me. <laughs> Anybody want a team? Anybody? Anybody? Come fully loaded with an attitude. You think they fly? Oh, they go the second one. Oh, in a sidekick. Yeah, two for one, y'all. Two for one. Two for one. Yes, sir. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Beavis and butthead, beavis and butthead, beavis and butthead, beavis and butthead. Oh, 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 oh. pop of black in there. Would you think that'd be too much? Do you think it's too much? Or should I just keep the black in the room? Because y'all know I'm trying to add a little pop of black here and there because I'm putting, still ain't got the shelf, 
y'all excuse how the dining room look again ikea still haven't notified me that they have one yet and i still haven't found now on facebook market so that's what i'm saying so should i add a little pop of black remove this pillow remove that throw probably add that throw over there on that bench this bench here which i want to find some gray velvet um fabric so i can reupholster it or I'm going to take that fabric off what's on top of it and put it outside on the porch or stuff like that. I don't know yet. I'm still playing around with it. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, do y'all like this here? I'm going to change the pillow cover and see. It, let's, let's do that. Okay, so what do y'all think now? I don't know, just a pop of black, not just over the edge, just, just a pop of black. Just a pop, not too much. That's not a dirt spot, that's basically how the fabric is. Hmm. I think I kinda like this vibe other than the first one, but these pillows here, a little too much cream. I don't know. I really don't know, y'all. Mom. Huh? Can you help me? Okay. I can't find it. Or should I just go with that one? But uh, bigger pillows without that design on it. That um print. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like it with the little pop of black. But I don't know. We're, I'm going to have to play with this some more and more and more. I know how I do. But I'm about to straighten up some. Uh, try to get this house together. Because I need to show you guys the full tour of the living room. But it is other things that I want to do to the living room. So, I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Cause I still need to hang the chandelier. I need to do that for the have lighting over here. Um, I need to reupholster the chair. I need the bench. I need to put the bar cart up. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Hey, hey, queens and kings. Happy Tuesday and welcome, queen and kings. <laughs> but anyway, so I want to show you guys pretty much what I have done. How the bar cart look with the chef. I actually like the way how this look. So one of you queens did tell me to pretty much turn the, um, the chef, the Ikea chef, um, a different way. Catacorn, which I was thinking about doing that the first time I actually did it, but I actually went against it. But now that I have turned it like diagonal or whatever, it's real cute. And I had swapped it because if you guys seen the bar cart video, excuse me, you have seen that I have the bar cart in the area where the chef was at before, where the stand. Because I say every time I say chef, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Chef and chef stand girl that's what's the word that's the word stand so of course but anyways let me start running my mouth and show you guys because this is going to end this video i know it's pretty long um if you guys like longer videos let me know but i'm just trying something out at this point right here uh because a while back i did get a couple of you guys was like it wasn't into the longer video but that was when i first started this channel so we had six thousand nine hundred. we have grew since then but anyways let me show you guys now Oh, before I do show you, I have not done nothing to the dining room table. It's still pretty much a catch-all, but I have cleaned it up to the best of my ability since the last time you guys seen it. Uh, it just have my chandelier and stuff like that on the table. Ain't got all that other stuff like the clothes and stuff. But I think I'm going to find some vase as a set of three. 
to put on the middle of the table. Um, but the thing is, though, do I want to do gold or black? Because I don't want to go too overbearing with the black. I don't want it to take away from my brown or nothing like that. I just want little pops of it here and there. Um, and how the chef look, I'm really... I said stand, right? How the stand looking, I'm really liking the way it looks. I like the way the bar cart looked too. Yeah. So let me show you guys because I'm still around. All right. So this is the bar cart. That you guys have already seen because you should have seen the bar cart video before this video. Now, let me show you guys what the chef, the stand, looking like. And this is the stand. Look how cute it is. So I made a few changes, not much. Um, I was kind of skeptical about putting this stand over here because I have the um, printer data, but I was like, mm, oh well. So as you all can see, I have done a lot of the stuff on my shelf. A stand is actually DIY, and I will tell you guys what it all is, a DIY. Uh, so I spray painted the, the stand. When I got it, it was black. I spray painted the gold, always. Now these little attachments here, these little chains here, and as you all can see, I haven't moved the glass, but I still have the mirror glass down to the bottom of that one. I didn't change nothing about that one, but um, not yet anyway. But I have changed it to the see-through, put I went and got the glass out of the storage. So those chain length, those, those are DIYs. This here's a DIY, which was inspired by Z Gallery. So a lot of this stuff I need to touch up because by being packed all up, it don't scar all up and stuff like that. These are not DIYs. These are from Home Goods. Everything here is from Home Goods except that candle that is matched the one that I have on the bar cart that is from Dollar Tree. Now these book ends here, you won't find none like this because these are my original idea. Um, I'll tell you a quick story behind these book ends though. So I ordered these. Um, bookends that have all the diamonds on. I actually have a set over there on the um, entryway table, whatever. But when it came from um, Z Gallery, because I could never find them in the store, home goods, never find them in the store. So I just bought, just bit the bullet and just say, hey, fuck it, I'm gonna get the one from Z Gallery. When I got them from Z Gallery, they was all shattered, all it was just shaking. I heard the shaking. I said, oh no, this is not right. So basically, gave me my money back and I was able to keep whatever I can actually keep. And pretty much, it was the whole book in the back part came apart all this had on came out all the little diamonds and stuff had on came out so everything was just in pieces so i decided to just go with my little because these are actually pepper and salt shakers from z gallery like the perfume baller over there i just basically put the book in back together and glued the pepper and salt shakers on there and now i have some actually bookings so those are my unique bookings so you guys know the story behind that but these books and stuff, Amazon, I think Amazon or TJ Maxx. You can also find designer books from there and Fifty Shades of Grey. Y'all know what that is from Walmart. This bus here is from Amazon and that vase that is from Z Gallery, which was teal, as you can see right there. And I spray painted it. So I was ain't doing a good job, but yeah. So this is pretty much how I look and just overlook the stuff on the table. Because I'm actually going to put this in storage. Because one of y'all mentioned for me to put it in storage. And I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Because I don't have room for it. So it is what it is. But this is how I look. And I'm loving this. I'm loving it. I thought it would probably be awkward or something. Just because you got a tall one. You got a short one. So I swapped them around. And I was like, okay, yes. The tall is over here. The short over here. You know, it's just balancing the gold. And that metal look around the room. So... I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. What y'all think? I know y'all gonna tell me down in the comments, so tell me what you think. Because it's no telling when we're gonna get the IKEA stand. It's no telling. IKEA just gave me an update about something else that I asked them about. And they told me that was still out of stock. So I had to put another, another notification for that. So it was like, you know what, I'm over it. So that's why I went to the storage and got my bar cart. So it is what it is cute right cute i'm not gonna go over this stuff here you just go back in and look at the bar cart styling and stuff of me putting this together you'll get all the details on there 
everything on here you will get a detail for everything i promise you so just check that video out if you have not if you see something on here you want to know something about just go check it out okay all right okay queens and kings so like i promised i'm pretty much going to end this video here because i actually need to go do some more other stuff um yeah so that's it so that's it for this whole entire video if you all enjoy please let me know down in the comment section if you do enjoy longer vlogs like this one because i was trying to give you guys like a whole week type vlog thing or whatever if i do and if y'all enjoy those type videos of course those videos will be longer and they will still be on sundays though because the vlogs come out on sundays and if you're a new queen here here just stop it by hello my name is valerie i upload what well, when i upload yeah i can't think <laughs> i upload on wednesdays sometime friday fridays are bonus videos and sundays so if you get a bonus video sometime i have been for the past past month or two i have been able to upload every friday so far no i'll tell you about the last two fridays i ain't upload. but anyways i'm just saying just know i mostly upload three times out the week but anyways queens and kings that's gonna be it once again please like comment share and subscribe and continue to be royal and remember your crown may tip but it definitely won't fall i will see you queens and kings in the next video bye bye